really hard to tell. Um, we are in between Shabig, Cousins, and uh, Sturdivant Islands, where we grew kelp over the winter. It was planted in December, and it's coming out of the water now. None of our days are typical. <laughs> we get out to the farm. We have a working barge um, that we can kind of hook up the kelp line to, pull it over a pulley system, string it up like a curtain, cut, 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 cut. We're just doing it um, harvesting into gallon bags. But once we're done for the day, bring it into the dock. We use the, the town dock lift, um, and then we have a flatbread trailer and drive it to the, the people that we have dry it for us. In order to feed a growing planet, aquaculture has to be part of the toolbox that we're using. Has to be. The best thing about growing seaweed from a food standpoint is when you look at the impact of other crops. Other crops need typically fertilizer, they might need pesticides, they definitely need high amounts of water. We take our seed, we bring it out here, we plant it onto lines, it's buoyed up in the water. Nothing gets added. And it grows this amazing food that provides you with all kinds of vitamins, minerals, proteins. The only thing that this is taking out of the water is large amounts of carbon and large amounts of nitrogen. Our farm did thousands of pounds of kelp this year and our co-op did over 40,000 pounds altogether. And that's just a drop in the bucket compared to all the kelp that was harvested here in Casco Bay this year. Here in Maine, where we're so concerned about our shrinking working waterfront, seaweed, shellfish farming, farming in the ocean, well, they can work alongside existing fisheries to help support and continue that working waterfront. We have the equipment, we have the infrastructure, and most importantly, we have the people that understand how to work on the water. I've been commercial fishing in this area kind of New England for 30 something years about. I think aquaculture is pretty great just because it doesn't involve cutting down trees and deforesting areas to create more farms. Not that I am against farming, but we have a whole ocean that could be used for quite a lot. Of, I mean, you could grow billions of pounds of products in the ocean. Also, because where farms are placed, you're obviously removing risk from other species, i.e. right whales. And so it, it's good to establish an industry that doesn't create a, a problem for other species. There are so many different dimensions to how seaweed can help us address climate change and the impacts of climate change. Kelp has a natural wave dampening effect. So positioning kelp farms in a way that you can help mitigate wave action and storm surge impacts on coastal communities, that could be really exciting. Seaweed can actually mitigate localized ocean acidification, which makes a better environment for the other things that we love about the ocean that live there. The crabs, the shellfish, the lobsters. It improves the water as it grows by absorbing excess nutrients. The good thing about kelp, you can use the entire plant effectively for different things. Like kelp is an awesome natural fertilizer. Hopefully the fertilizer industry will develop towards this as a fertilizer rather than using chemicals to do the same thing. One of the really interesting applications for seaweed is animal feed. Research data suggests that farm animals that are fed a diet that includes seaweed have lower methane emissions. There are fewer cow burps. It's unbelievable. Then there's bioplastics. Uh, production of bioplastics from seaweed is so exciting. And if that could even impact a small percentage of the amount of plastic that we use every day, it, that would make such an enormous difference to our oceans. Twenty twenty-four is the year for seaweed. This is the moment. The farms have been 
developing, the processing technologies have been developing, the markets are coming online. Maine is uniquely positioned for this industry. We have some of the most nutrient-rich waters in the world. We have an experienced working waterfront. We have an entire fishing community that could participate in this industry. And if you think of the main flag, what's on the main flag? Fishermen and farmers, they go hand in hand.